Could we be the ultimate virus? Uncover the startling theory that redefines our place in the world and reveals a provocative truth about humanity's impact on our planet. Human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You are a plague. The Earth virus theory is a controversial and thought-provoking concept that challenges our perception of our planet and our place within it. It suggests that the Earth functions as a living organism and humanity in its actions bear similarities to a pathogenic force causing harm to this organism. This theory has gained attention in recent years, sparking debates about the consequences of human activities and the role of natural disasters. At the heart of the Earth virus theory, the captivating notion that our planet is not just a lifeless rock hurtling through space, but a dynamic, interconnected, and living entity. This perspective challenges conventional views of Earth as an inanimate object and compels us to see it as a vast, self-regulating organism much like the complex systems within the human body work harmoniously to sustain life. Earth's myriad interconnected systems, its atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere and biosphere function as the planet's organs, each with a vital role to play. The atmosphere serves as the planet's lungs, exchanging gases and regulating climate. The oceans, vast and teeming with life, act as its circulatory system, transporting heat and nutrients around the globe. The solid, rocky crust and the molten core beneath it form the Earth's structural skeleton, akin to a skeletal system. Just as living organisms adapt to changes in their environment, Earth has shown remarkable resilience and adaptability over billions of years. It has experienced dramatic shifts in climate, the rise and fall of species, and even catastrophic events like asteroid impacts, yet it endures. This ability to self-regulate and maintain a stable environment has led proponents of the Earth virus theory to suggest that the planet exhibits characteristics of life. While this perspective may seem metaphorical, it underscores the profound interconnectedness of Earth's systems. Like a living organism, Earth responds to changes, striving to find equilibrium. When viewed through this lens, human activities and their impact on the planet take on new significance. They become part of a larger, intricate web of interactions, where our actions can either contribute to the planet's well-being or disrupt the delicate balance. In essence, the idea of Earth as a living organism calls for a shift in our perception of the planet. From an inert backdrop, to an active participant in the drama of life. It encourages us to recognize that our actions have consequences, not just for ourselves, but for the living, breathing Earth we call home. One of the pivotal aspects of the Earth virus theory is its portrayal of humanity as a force that disrupts the Earth's natural equilibrium. This comparison draws parallels between the unintended consequences of human actions and the damage caused by pathogens within a biological host. Human activities, driven by industrialization and urbanization, have led to widespread environmental degradation, deforestation, land development and habitat destruction have resulted in the loss of countless species and ecosystems. This disruption mirrors the way pathogens can harm their host by damaging tissues or organs. The release of pollutants into the air, water, and soil is akin to an infection spreading throughout an organism. Pollution in various forms, including air pollution, water pollution, and soil contamination, has adverse effects on both human health and the environment. It disrupts the natural balance and can lead to long-term damage. Humanity's voracious appetite for resources, including fossil fuels, minerals, and fresh water, mirrors the relentless consumption of resources by a virus or pathogen. Unsustainable resource extraction depletes finite reserves, disrupts ecosystems, and exacerbates environmental issues like climate change. Just as a pathogen can replicate and spread rapidly within a host, human population growth has been exponential. This places immense pressure on Earth's resources, exacerbating environmental challenges. The Earth virus theory suggests that our unchecked growth may be analogous to the unchecked proliferation of a virus, 
within a host organism. In the context of the Earth virus theory, the notion that natural disasters are Earth's responses to counterbalance the disruptive force of humanity is both provocative and highly debated. This perspective suggests that these catastrophic events, often seen as destructive and devastating, serve a broader purpose in the planet's self-regulation. Proponents of this theory argue that natural disasters act as nature's corrective mechanisms, just as the immune system of a living organism responds to infections, Earth, through events like wildfires, hurricanes, and earthquakes, addresses imbalances in ecosystems. For example, wildfires can clear overgrown vegetation and promote new growth, while hurricanes distribute heat and nutrients rejuvenating ocean ecosystems. Another controversial aspect of this theory is the idea that natural disasters play a role in population control as human populations continue to grow rapidly. Proponents suggest that certain natural disasters, like disease outbreaks or extreme weather events, may act as checks on human numbers. While this concept is contentious and not supported by scientific evidence, it raises questions about the delicate balance between human activity and the environment. Earth's geological and climatic processes are inherently intertwined with natural disasters. For instance, earthquakes are a result of tectonic plate movements, and hurricanes are driven by complex atmospheric and oceanic interactions. From the perspective of the Earth virus theory, these processes can be viewed as the planet's way of maintaining equilibrium. When pressures build up within these systems due to human activities or other factors, they are released in the form of natural disasters. While the idea of natural disasters as Earth's responses is metaphorical, it highlights the interconnectedness of all life on Earth. It can serve as a reminder of the consequences of human actions and the importance importance of responsible stewardship, rather than viewing these events as random or malevolent. This perspective encourages us to learn from them and adapt our behaviours to reduce future disruptions. It's essential to emphasise that attributing intent or purpose to natural disasters is scientifically unfounded. These events are the result of natural processes not conscious actions by the Earth. Critics argue that such interpretations oversimplify complex geological and meteorological phenomena. While the Earth virus theory offers a unique perspective on humanity's relationship with the planet, it is essential to approach this theory with skepticism. One of the primary criticisms of the Earth virus theory is its departure from mainstream scientific understanding. Scientific consensus does not support the idea of Earth as a living organism in the same way as a human or animal. Earth's processes, including natural disasters, are generally explained by geological, meteorological and ecological principles, not by attributing consciousness or intent to the planet. The theory tends to anthropomorphize the Earth by attributing human-like qualities and intentions to natural phenomena. Critics argue that this anthropomorphism oversimplifies complex natural processes and can lead to a misunderstanding of the causes and effects of natural disasters. Proponents of the Earth virus theory suggest that natural disasters are Earth's responses to human disruption. However, establishing a direct causal relationship between human activities and specific natural disasters is scientifically challenging. While there may be correlations between certain human activities, like deforestation or greenhouse gas emissions and changes in climate or weather patterns, directly linking these activities to individual natural disasters is complex. The Earth's geological and meteorological systems exhibit natural variability over time. Critics argue that many natural disasters, such as earthquakes and hurricanes, have occurred throughout Earth's history long before human civilization had a significant impact on the environment. This suggests that these events are part of the planet's natural processes rather than responses to human activities. What do you think? And have a good day.